Hello Virgos, this is Sarah Queen Jamila. I am here to do your uh, love forecast for singles and couples for um, March of 2017. So you have to excuse me, I'm a little distracted by this little, my neighbor's dog is, I think they left him outside or something. So it's kind of, if you hear him yapping, he may distract me, so hopefully not. So this will be a really quick reading for uh, March. And this is a general reading, so um, this may not resonate for all of you in March. Um, make sure that uh, you are uh, checking your rising sign and then also hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want um, personal private readings, you can contact me in the uh, link below um, I am confidential and I do have a website and all of that so you can go and visit my website all right so Virgos let's look at the love energies for uh, for March okay so this is gonna be a quick three card spread and I will look at um, the beginning middle beginning middle and then end of March all right, so I'm just going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Virgos. Um, I want to know what are the love energy. So this is kind of going to be like an energy reading. Um, so, it, and that's pretty much the way that I prefer to do it. Especially since I'm doing um, singles and uh, couples, so... All right, so anyway, spirits, spirit guides, show me the beginning of the month of March, 2017, uh, middle and end for Virgos for love, uh, relationships, and singles. So the beginning of the month, you got the Seven of Cups. So I kind of feel like there's going to be some confusion. Uh, the Seven of Cups represents um, represents someone that may have some sort of um, it could be. It's usually when someone is not being honest to themselves or maybe they're kind of just sort of um I don't know why I always see confusion with the seven of cups because it's like an emotional confusion um whether or not it's anger whether or not it's not being honest about your emotions or just in general as far as an energy for the heart chakra this is kind of where the heart kind of stops or halts and you sort of stop giving your energy to your um you know environment so whether or not you're single so for the singles what this represents is that you know you're not being honest about what it is that you want and you're feeling a little stuck and blocked emotionally um it's almost like you want to kind of um move on emotionally but it's hard because it's kind of like a confusion um so i do see that sort of i feel like this is going to be what you're going to be sort of dealing with towards the end of february so go, so looking at the beginning of the month this is sort of like um you know what i'm seeing um what you're gonna the energies you're gonna bring into so also in general um this means that if you're single, you have a lot on your plate and you're sort of having a hard time figuring out where you're supposed to be in your love life uh, because you've got like a lot of tasks that you're trying to com complete. And this is if you're in a relationship as well, you know, to where you want to stop and prioritize and then maybe even make, you know, I think the Seven of Cups is also making your relationship a priority or you know making the emotional aspect a priority um so the seven of cups shows that you're not doing that or there's a lack thereof because it's imbalanced um if you're in relationships the seven of cups is showing up to say basically the same thing 
Um, I feel like this represents um, probably your uh, partner's energy, Virgo. I feel like it's some water aspects in it because of the cups. And so I feel like your partner is probably, you know, saying to you, hey, I feel like you're, you know, not fulfilling me emotionally or something. You know, or I feel like you don't care. Um, because a lot of times Seven of Cups is some sort of confusion due to lack of morality or something. So, um, however, going to, towards the middle, you got the Ace of Cups. So, for the singles, I feel like this represents a new relationship. Um, if it's not a new relationship, this is sort of like a new relationship with self or a new beginning emotionally with the Ace of Cups. Um, but I do feel like this signifies you possibly if you're, you know, if you're single, um, it signifies you meeting someone new. So um, if you are in a relationship, I feel like whatever this confusion is that you're bringing into March, I feel like you're going to have a new beginning. And also possibly maybe could be pregnancy news or something with the Ace of Cups or just some sort of happiness, some sort of, you know, new beginning. But overall, the energies of the Ace of Cups are really is really, really good. Now, towards the end, you got the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles can either represent yourself. Um, it can also represent your partner and the energy surrounding them. Um, I feel like for a lot, for a majority of, your, of you Virgos, the uh, Knight of Pentacles represents your energy. Um, and you like having to, to, you know, sort of be there for your partner and because it seems like they're going to need you for something because the Knight of Pentacles is someone that comes in to help sometimes emotionally to offer massages, to offer, you know, um, nursing. It's comparable to the Knight of Cups. So it's, it's almost the same energy, only it's earth energy. So, for some of you Virgos, it represents your partner. It could represent um, the energies that they have around you, which is really st stable. So, this also represents you. Um, if you are starting a new relationship, I feel like this is you just like, um, you know, lavishing your partner probably with gifts or either just attention. So... That is really positive. Also, um, I feel like with uh, the finances, because with, you know, uh, Virgos, they typically do connect their money directly to their finances. So if one isn't right, the other isn't going to be right. So I think that's probably like for a lot of people. But, you know, I kind of feel as though with the night of, um, this is a lot of money energy. So I feel as though, um, this is where things are going to be happening really, really fast. Um, if you are a, a Virgo that has uh, recently met another Earth sign individual, I think this represents, um, you know, them sort of, um, you know, coming, you know, basically, you know, maybe coming to get you grounded. You know, a lot of times the Knight of Pentacles um, comes to, you know, get you grounded, maybe financially. You know, maybe someone offering financial advice, maybe really good, sound financial advice that can help you. Um, so definitely make sure that you check out your money readings because I've got some pretty interesting money forecasts coming up for March. So make sure that you sub to the channel. But I think that I'm going to see positive in your money reading just because of the energies uh, coming from uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Cups uh, could mean that you know, there could be possible, you know, negative energy or karma when I look a little bit closer at that week or at the, you know, just towards the beginning. But I think that the Knight of Pentacles is a good place to, because this is either Virgo getting help or Virgo helping. So either way, it seems like it's really uh, positive. Okay. So my, I have like a frog in my throat. I have no idea what's going on with that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you subscribe rate and leave a comment and if you want a private reading my website is in the video description box right now my 30 minute readings i do have a special for 25 uh, my spell consults are 55 my 
uh, one hour readings you can actually purchase uh, two 30 minutes um, or if you just want um, you know to get the 60 minute read you can do that also all right thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day namaste